from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. My name is Betsy Peterson. I'm the director of the American Folklife Center here at the Library of Congress. And on behalf of the staff, I want to welcome you all today to the latest in our Homegrown Concert Series. Now, the Homegrown Concert Series is an opportunity for the American Folklife Center to feature music that, or dance that is rooted in place, rooted in community, and rooted in shared cultural traditions. When we put on this series, we work throughout the year with networks of folklorists, um, folk arts coordinators, other cultural specialists throughout the United States who help us identify the very best traditional musicians and performers to come and share their, their art and culture with all of you and all of us here in Washington, D.C. And we're all the better for it, I have to say. Um, one caveat before we begin the concert, um, one of the other things that's nice about this series is that it allows us to record the music here, and the music and the concerts here become part of the archive of the American Folklife Center, so that it will make it onto our website through webcasts so people around the world can hear, and for future generations to hear. So with that said, if you have a cell phone or any other electronic device, um, I would ask you to turn it off right now. And I also want to say that while we work, and, or as we work with folklorists around the, around the country, we also work with organizations here to make this happen. And I do want to acknowledge our um, co-sponsor today, the National Council for the Traditional Arts, for helping to make this possible, and we really appreciate their help. So, with that said, um, I'm now going to bring up someone else to tell you a little bit more about the concert today, and that is Cliff Murphy. Cliff is formerly the director of the Program for Traditional Arts at the Maryland Arts Council. He is now the director of the Folk and Traditional Arts Program at the National Endowment for the Arts. He's also, in his own right, a musician, um, a country musician, rock musician, and all sorts of other things. Um, he also has a degree in ethnomusicology from Brown University. But I'm going to bring him out here right now. Cliff, along with Henry Glassy and Douglas Peach, um, just did a wonderful, wonderful book slash recording that has just come out, Olabel Reed and Southern Mountain Music on the Mason-Dixon line, and I encourage you to, to look for it. It's on Dust to Digital. So with that said, I want to introduce Cliff Murphy. Thank you, Betsy. Hello, everybody. How is everybody today? Good? All right, I hope you're uh, excited to hear some great music. Are you? Yes? All right, that's good. Um, welcome to your lunch break. Uh, my name's Cliff Murphy, and I'm very proud to be here today uh, to present uh, today's group um, and to uh, introduce you to some folks that I've had the pleasure of working with over the last uh, seven years or so, uh, leading up to uh, in some ways, today's event and uh, the publication that, that uh, has just come out, uh, Ola Bell Reed and Southern Mountain Music on the Mason-Dixon line. Uh, I've been involved here with, uh, with my friends and colleagues, uh, Henry Glassy and Doug Peach. If you guys could wave. <laughs> my my co-authors and fellow adventurers and Alan Burdett, who's here from the Archive of Traditional Music in Indiana. Um, it's been a great adventure. Uh, for those of you, how many people here are familiar with Ola Bell Reed? There's a lot. Okay, so um, so for those of you who don't know, Ola Bell was uh, really a remarkable singer, songwriter, banjo player, uh, traditional musician, uh, country philosopher, would you say that's a fair term, uh, who lived in Rising Sun, Maryland, uh, was originally from Lansing, North Carolina, 
uh, moved up to the Mason-Dixon line region of, you know, along the Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware border uh, during the Depression uh, with a large wave of, Ap of Appalachian migrants uh, who came up for good jobs and good uh, cheap uh, farmland and settled in the region, brought a lot of music with them, also brought other traditions, but what has really kind of survived in a lot of ways is the music. Um, and so Olabel, um, Olabel passed away uh, a little over 10 years ago, but uh, joining us today is her son, David Reed, uh, and two, let's see, her nephew, Hugh Campbell. Uh, there are also other relatives in the house. I know that they're members of uh, of uh, the Campbell family here today with us. If you guys could wave, I think there's quite a few of you. Um, so that's a real, that's, it's a real honor to have you here today. Um, and uh, we also have Alex Campbell, Olabel's brother and performing partner uh, for many years. Alex's son, Rob, is here today. It's great to have you with us. And it's a funny thing about this tradition. So Olabel and Alex started a couple of country music parks um, in Maryland and Pennsylvania, and these become, became uh, important stopping points for a lot of musicians that many of you may have heard of, you know, people like the Stanley Brothers, uh, Bill Monroe. Uh, backstage, we were talking uh, beforehand, there's a picture of Dolly Parton uh, from when she performed on this stage, and Rob, Alex Campbell's son, was telling me that his job used to be uh, to interview Dolly when she would come through and uh, play on the family's radio program. So it tells you a little bit about the interactions between uh, these musicians who many of us think of as local uh, musicians and with kind of the national stars and how that was a very fluid thing for a very long time. And these traditions kind of pass across these boundaries of national, local music. Uh, and also joining us today is, a, I think, what we call a passel of Paisleys. We have uh, Danny Paisley, uh, Michael Paisley, and Danny's son, Ryan, who I think is 15. Is that correct? We'll just say yes. Um, Ryan plays mandolin, and, and the, you know, the Paisleys play a brand of bluegrass music that really blends uh, honky-tonk country music traditions with bluegrass, with old-time music. Um, and uh, they're, they're joined by fiddle uh, player T.J. Lundy. Uh, there are a lot of ties between all of these musicians and the collections that are here at the Library of Congress and the American Folklife Center. Uh, T.J.'s uh, great grand uncle, Emmett Lundy, was recorded by, uh, by John and Elizabeth Lomax uh, a little over 70 years ago, and those recordings reside here. Um, and also Olabel, uh, it was somebody who, and Alex, were recorded by Mike Seeger, and uh, many of those uh, recordings reside here as well. And then, of course, Henry Glassie's recordings um, of Olabel, so which are included in this Dust to Digital release um, that we hope you'll check out. And enough about that. I think that you're all here for music instead of a lecture. Is that right? Did I get the memo? Okay. <laughs> so if you would please give a warm welcome uh, to and I will introduce them one by one. Uh, Mr. Dave Reed on guitar and banjo. Uh, Mr. You guys can start coming on out. Uh, Mr. Hugh Campbell uh, on guitar and vocals. Uh, and both of these guys will be playing some of their original songs. We also have uh, Mr. Danny Paisley on guitar and vocals. Michael Paisley, his brother, on the upright bass. Uh, Ryan Paisley on mandolin and TJ Lundy on fiddle. Have I got you all? I think so. All right. Enjoy the music, everybody.
Riding on that new river train Riding on that new river train That same old train that brought me here Soon gonna carry me away Well, darling, you can't love one. Darling, you can't love one. Oh, you can't love one and have any fun. Oh, darling, you can't love one. I'm riding on that new river train. Riding on that new river train. That same old train that brought me here. Soon gonna carry me. be true oh darling you can't love to i'm riding on that new river train riding on that new river train that same old train that brought me here it's gonna carry me Well, darling, you can't love three. We could go all the way through, too. Darling, you can't love three. Oh, you can't love three and still be with me. Oh, darling, you can't love three. I'm riding on that new river train. I'm riding on that new river train. That same old train that brought me here. It's ain't going to carry me. I'm a riding on that new river train. I'm a riding on that new river train. That same old train that brought me here. It's soon gonna carry me away. Danny Paisley, ladies and gentlemen. You know, amazing thing about that song, you can keep going as long as you can until it took me to get a string on, you know? <laughs> yeah, darling, you can't love 140. <laughs> How's everybody doing at lunchtime? Everybody happy? Well, we're all here trying to play a little music in honor of uh, Ola Bell Reed. I'm sure uh, everyone... Uh, Remember such a sweet lady that uh, Dave's mom was. And they're going to do some songs that she wrote and some songs that uh, they recorded and some songs we've done. And we'll just have a big time here. So uh, everybody clap your hands and have fun, and we'll, we'll proceed for the next few minutes and play some old-timey music. All right? Hugh, you got a tune, don't you, bud? Well, yeah, we're going to do a tune called uh, Don't You Call My Name. This song was written by Uncle Herb Campbell way back in the day, back in the late 60s. Been recorded by the likes of the Johnson Mountain Boys, Dale McCurry, and most recently by Daly and Vincent, TJ. Don't you call my name. I won't answer Don't you call my name I won't be there You cheated on me Baby for your last time Don't you call my name When you're down I don't care David
had your good times. You said you love me just the same. But when the chips are down and you get lonely, you come running back to me calling my name. Don't you call my name, I won't answer. Don't you call my name, I won't be there. You cheated on me, baby, for your last time. Don't you call my name when you're down, I don't care. I used to cry and wait for you, dear, while you played your cheating game. But it's your turn now, so just to keep on crying. I can't hear you cry, little girl, don't you call my name. Don't you call my name, I won't answer. Don't you call my name, I won't be there. You cheated on me. Baby, for your last time Don't you call my name when you're down I don't care Don't you call my name I won't answer don't you call my name, I won't be there. You cheated on me, baby, for your last time. Don't you call my name when you're down, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. That's some good singing there, Hugh. Thank you. Yeah. Now, your uncle wrote that tune, right? Uncle Herb Campbell, oh, yeah. otherwise known as Hub. Hub. Hub Campbell. <laughs> How did he get the name Hub? Can we ask? No, probably no, shouldn't. Can. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My son Ryan Paisley right there on the mandolin. <laughs> He'll get us started off here on this tune. My home across the Blue Ridge Mountains. Cross the 
Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I never expect to see you anymore. Tell him all about it, David. He's waiting for me to talk, and I'm waiting for him to talk. <laughs> okay. Name of this song, anyway. John Hardy. Got a question. How many people can tell I'm a hillbilly? Can you tell it? Why? Because <laughs> of my size? <laughs> no. John Hardy, boys. Here we go. One, two, three. Give him a hand. Come on now. Oh, yeah. TJ, let me go to the middle. Go, buddy. Yeah. Woo. Give him a big hand, too. All the seen John Hardy getting away, Lord, Lord. Oh, what is he, John Hardy getting away? Ryan! TJ, come on, TJ! Get that middle boy! Think of them there, hillbilly pickers. <laughs> We're the northern hillbilly pickers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? <laughs> that was David Reed, everyone. Give David a good hand. <laughs> We're going to do a honky-tonk sort of. Cheating and loving tune that his mother wrote. Olabel wrote this tune. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned it from, uh, from a live recording that my buddy TJ gave to me. We recorded it on a record a number of years ago. And I believe uh, David's uh, 
Mother uh, Olabel and uh, Uncle Alec. Yes. They recorded it also. Was it on the New River record label, I believe? I think it was a Star yeah. Day. Star Day recording, one of the early one of them. bluegrass and country music record labels. Record, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Honky tonk sort of thing. My brother Michael pays it back here and walk this bass fiddle uh, yeah. all the way through. Right. Sort of honky tonking song. Hugh, how you doing over there? You're doing smiling good. and I'm looking good. I'm just trying good. to hold on. I'm trying to hang on for dear life with this world-class bluegrass band up here. I'm a, what you call about a sort of a poet kind of a dude. I can't play, keep up with them. I'm kind of faking it. That's what I'm doing. But I'm having a good time doing it, and uh, we're really enjoying being here. Everybody's been very nice to us. Thank you so much. And uh, as soon as Dave gets in tune here, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick off a song I wrote some time back. Are you, yeah. you, you about ready, uh -huh. are you? <laughs> ready for Freddy. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to do Footprints Left Below. Okay. I wrote this song yeah. about an old man I knew when I was a boy. It's about 95% true. Uh -huh. Old Tom Moore was the grave digger in the town where I was born. He used to sit on the front porch of my daddy's general store. Thomas worked at the cemetery for 40 some odd years. He must have dug 10,000 graves with paddock, spade, and tears. Thomas said, I say a prayer for each grave that I do. I keep the bottom level and the four walls straight and true. And ain't something good about it when there's footprints left below. Makes a man feel like someone is with him when he goes. 
Ah, but who's gonna dig his grave when time more passes on? Who's gonna cut the edges straight and throw out every stone? And who's gonna leave their footprints down deep while he will lay? Mr. Percy's back hole will take his job that day. David! Old Thomas chewed tobacco and it ran all down his chin. He said, I'm 82 years old and I'm the best I've ever been. He walked to town each day at noon to take lunch at the store. He took from life what he put in it and asked for nothing more. I bet who's going to dig his grave when time more passes on? Who's going to cut the edges straight and throw out every stone? Who's going to leave their footprints down deep where he will lay? Mr. Percy's back hole will take his job up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan. Old Tom Ice died a few years back. He went on to better things. Every time I think of him, his simple words still ring. He said, I say a prayer, boy, for each grave that I do. I keep the bottom level and the four walls straight and true. And there's something good about it when these footprints left below. Makes a man feel like someone is with him when he goes. Ah, but who's gonna dig his grave when time more passes on? Who's gonna cut the edges straight and throw out every stone? And who's gonna leave their footprints down deep where he will lay? Mr. Percy's back hole will take his job that day. Percy's back home took his job that day. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm allowed to stay with you? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> yes, you are. You fellas are going to do a couple tunes together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Name of this next song is Simple Man. It's a gospel song I wrote. And this song, I was working on a job one day. I had an idea in my head. And uh, went out. I was going to... I normally do the tune first, uh, but what I did was I started writing the words that started coming real fast. And I'd like to thank Cliff Murphy and uh, Doug Peach and Henry Glassy for allowing this song to be on there. It's called Simple Man. I'm a simple man with a simple plan Trying to do the best I can Mow the yard and till the land Earn my keep with these two hands Trying to make my way, oh, home. I'm a simple man I go to work to support my wife And I'll stay with her Till the day I die Go to church And serve the Lord Following His daily word I'm nothing fancy Oh Just a simple man 
In a manger Jesus laid It was God's plan He was the son of a carpenter Was a simple man Jesus walked upon this earth with a voice of love. He preached the word, sandals on his feet, and wore just to roam, and no place to call his home. He was a humble man, oh, how just a simple man. In a manger, Jesus laid. It was God's plan. He was the son of a carpenter. He was a simple man. In a manger, Jesus laid. It was God's plan. He was the son of a carpenter. He was a simple man. He was the son of a carpenter, was a simple man. Thank you very much there, folks. Appreciate that. Don't you, boy? I'm going to send this song out to Henry Glassy, here with his lovely wife, Davina. Tell me your name. I know, Doug Peach. <laughs> Who's that guy? Send that guy up <laughs> you better be quiet. <laughs> Cliff Murphy, uh, the, the, three, the three people involved in getting this book out to you. Hope you Let's all like it. Let's give them a hand. If it hadn't been for them, this wouldn't be happening today. Thank you. Stand up, let everybody see you. You three, come on, stand up. They're still sitting there. Get up! Get up! <laughs> they want you to stand up. Come on now. Yay! <laughs> That's A! Hey. Yay! I'm giving you a stand. I'm giving you a standing ovation, even though I look like I'm sitting down. That's the big three right there. Hey. The big three. Woo! Yeah. I don't know if Cliff liked that. He's looking at me like, oh. <laughs> Give credit where credit's due. In London City, where I did dwell, oh, the butcher boy I love so well. They courted me my life away In love with me, he would not stay There is an alehouse in this town Now oh, he goes up, he sits down He takes another on his knee And he tells her things he once told Pick it, David Must I go bound while he goes free? Must I love a boy who don't love me? No, no, this never can be. An orange won't grow on an apple tree. She goes upstairs to go to bed. Not one word to her parents said. They went upstairs and the door they broke. They found her hanging on a rope. Well, they took a knife and they cut her down. 
upon her bosom these words they found silly girl silly girl am i i murdered myself for the butcher boy go ahead Dave. Now dig my grave both wide and deep Put a marble stone at my head and feet On my breast a snow white dove You can tell the world I died for love You can tell the world I died for love That's some fine singing there, Hugh. Good job, buddy. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. As you all can probably see, we've not played a whole lot together. We rehearsed about uh, two evenings, didn't we? Here we did. About ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> ten minutes rehearsal. <laughs> One hour of Yeah, we'd get together and uh, try to rehearse a little bit, but we most sat around and reminisced, didn't we? Yeah. Ryan, can you grab that strap back here? We're going to feature this young man here on the mandolin. If I can ever get strung up here on this guitar. <laughs> he's 15 years old, and he's been playing bluegrass music since he uh, was a young, young child. And uh, he's traveled all around the United States and uh, Canada with me. And... Uh, I think he's becoming one of the top mandolin players in the bluegrass music. That's Ryan Paisley right there. Give Ryan a good hand. Ryan Paisley. This is the first bluegrass instrumental wrote for a mandolin, right? For, uh, by Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass music. And this thing moves right along pretty quick, but we'll, you'll just back her down a little bit. It's only new time, all right? <laughs>
Yeah, this weekend, he got to play on stage with uh, Marty Stewart, one of the uh, famed country and bluegrass music uh, mandolin pickers, and he invited Ryan up to come and uh, play with him on his show up in, uh, in New Jersey. So that's quite a, quite a treat for a young man like that, I think. We'll do you a tune that comes out of the uh, uh, mountains of uh, southwest Virginia, Galax, Virginia way. T.J. Lundy's uh, father was Ted Lundy, and my father was Bob Paisley, and they played music together well over 30 years and uh, did a lot of recordings for different uh, uh, record companies. Right across the, uh, my father was in Grassy Creek, uh, North Carolina, right where uh, David's uh, family, the Campbells, moved up to Pennsylvania. They all moved to the south uh, east corner of Pennsylvania and the northern eastern corner of Maryland and a little pocket of Delaware, right in that little tri-state area where they uh, all match and come together. And all the families moved up there and we have uh, such great music as the uh, Campbells and the Reeds and uh, the Miller family and Lundy's and the Paisley's and we could go on and on. And in our area that flourished with the uh, Sunset Park was an old country music park, and New River Ranch, right up in Rising Sun. Yeah. They, uh, they kept everybody uh, entertained and uh, brought everybody together on a Sunday afternoon, and between the music and the fellowship, uh, to this day, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying on the tradition, right? <laughs> so uh, we count it as an honor to be able to remember those days of bygone, you know. This is a look back to the song. The old swinging bridge. David, you got her? Thank you. I believe David's gonna grab his guitar. 
And he's going to sing a tune I know his mom used to sing, right? Yes, she did. Everyone always liked to hear her sing this tune. Called Tear Down the Fences. This is a, one of the most requested songs. I don't think this song has gotten the popularity of maybe like High on a Mountain. But my wife and I, we go around and sing in the churches, and they love this song in the churches. It's one of the most requested songs I do. I just listen to the message. Sunday morning, sun is shining, flowers blooming everywhere. Birds are singing, flowers growing, whispering a message in the air. If I could have one wish and know that it would come true, I wish that God would give us strength to know just what to do, that we could tear down the fences that fence us all in, fences created by such evil men. Sunday morning, dark clouds rising, and there's no sunshine anywhere. Strong winds blowing, God give us wisdom to grasp the message in the air. I could have one wish and know that it would come true. I wish that God would give us strength to know just what to do, that we could tear down the fences that fence us all in. Fences created by such evil men are we. Beautiful song right there, David. <laughs> Mr. Hugh, I believe you got something picked out there, don't you, bud? Yeah, we're going to do I've Endured. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we've, been, we've been trying to learn this three or four different ways, right? There's a bluegrass way, then there's an old-timey way, and then there's your way. <laughs> I tell you what. Yeah. And I'm today gonna... could be even new. <laughs> so stick with us, folks. Could be a new song for all of us. Well, you know, this song, uh, the, the, first, the first line in this song is, uh, Born in the Mountains 50 Years Ago. It was written by Olabel. And, uh, of course, that, that song has been around for a long time, but it didn't mean anything to me, really, as a 30- and 40-year-old guy. But when I turned 50, of course, it, it started getting a lot more important to me, you know. <laughs> And for quite a few years now, I've been 50, so. 
I, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to do it my way, okay? I'm just going to launch into it. All right. We'll be right there with it. All right. All right. Well, there he is. Born in the mountains 50 years ago. I tried the hills and the valleys through the rain and snow. I've seen the lightning flashing and heard the thunder roll. I've endured, I've endured. How long can one endure? David. Barefoot in the summer, on into the fall. Too many mouths to feed, they couldn't close us all. Sent to church on Sunday to learn the golden rule. I've endured, I've endured. How long can one endure? I've lived for the rich, I've lived with the poor, I've seen a many a heartache, there'll be many more. I've lived, loved, and sorrowed, been to success's door. I've endured, I've endured, how long can one endure? Somebody play it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here with you. <laughs> Folks, we've had a good time, haven't we, everybody? I know yeah, I have. Yeah, yes, me. Nice hand for T.J. Lundy on the fiddle right there. <laughs> Ryan Paisley right there on the mandolin. Michael Paisley keeping us together back here on the bass fiddle. My old buddy Hugh Campbell right there doing all them good songs out there. <laughs> and this little rascal right here, I've known him for a long, long, long time. About right? 100 years. Yeah, that's it, right. That's it's right. getting there, isn't it? It's getting there. We're close, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> David Reed, everyone. Sing along with us, all right?
just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a home where short shall never end. I'll fly away. Everybody go! Well, I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. Well, I told that undertaker, undertaker, please drive slow. For that body that you're carrying, Lord, I hate to see her go. Everybody, everybody sing it. May the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better. I went back home, my home was lonesome Since my mother, she was gone All my brothers, sisters crying What a home so sad and long Everyone. Will the circle be unbroken By and by, Lord, by and by There's a better home awaiting Everybody sing real loud, all right? Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord? There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a good afternoon. Danny Paisley and the band, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out. We've had a great time. Thank you, Henry, Doug, Cliff Murphy. And Provina, your beauty. Hugh Campbell, David Reed, Ryan Paisley, Michael Paisley, TJ Lundy. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.